freedom, let's talk about something that I've discussed before, but with a twist. Whee! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> a twist. Today we're gonna talk about tentpole programming. Tentpole programming is when you find yourself an event or some other pop culture phenomenon and you capitalize on it. How you do this is you start making content beforehand. And this can be hype videos, this can be asking your audience what they think, what they expect, if they're gonna be at such event or if they're gonna be buying some said game or maybe if they just enjoy the kind of content that you might be able to put out because of this event. As an example, here for the next few days you'll be seeing me wear this shirt on camera because we've got Halloween coming up. This is an example of tentpole programming. Even though it's something very, oh, I don't know, very small, very minute, it is something that reminds people that something is coming up. It's building up to something awesome. Even if it's not necessarily something that we'll be covering here on the channel, it does engage an audience because they can share their experiences about, I don't know, costumes or 404 errors. If you're a gamer, the easiest way to do this is to start talking about a game before it releases. If let's say this is Call of Duty 9, you can go ahead and you can start talking about it a couple of months before it comes out. Maybe film the, uh, the gameplay in Call of Duty 8 or whatever the current game is and then lead up to it. If you're a vlogger, maybe you're going to a vlog fair. What you can do is you can start talking about that vlogging fair, engage your audience in a way that they build suspense for your possible involvement in that. Or maybe you just want to cover it as a news story. If you're a news YouTuber, you can do this. Or if you're just the kind of YouTuber that likes to stay on top of trends. Speaking of trends, that's the reason that all of this works. It allows you to gain subscribers and followers and views you normally wouldn't while leading up to this event. Once you're at the event or that period in time, you can release something big and capitalize on the audience that you have generated. And of course, you always want this to be an audience that's going to be interested in your regular content as well. This is somewhat of a hype tip. However, it doesn't have to be just mindless hype. You'll see this with other YouTubers who have movies coming out and who have uh, certain events, certain special things. They'll start talking about it ahead of time. And of course, this is a very genuine thing that most do. However, it's also a good business decision for them. You'll also notice if you're an American or you live in a country where Christmas is a big deal, that's one of the reasons why you start seeing Christmas decorations in September. Tentpole marketing is not a new thing, and it's something that if it fits your demographic, you should definitely be doing. How do you know ahead of time whether this will fit your demographic? Take a look at your analytics. This works best with people under the age of 35. So if you're drawing a crowd below the age of 35, then you know you've got the right audience. The question is, do you have the right content? We've all heard before that watch time is king, but before you even get to watch time, you have to worry about content. My question to you is, in your vertical, which would be gaming, vlogging, politics, whatever it is you cover, what is your next big upcoming event that you can schedule something around? Is it the release of a game? Is it a YouTube convention? Is it a movie coming out? Tell me in the comment section down below. Last but not least, I wanted to let you know not to abuse this. Do not ever just go from trend to trend to trend to trend. You might build an audience that way. However, they're going to end up being dead subscribers and if it's just not good. As always, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. Till next time, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comments please. Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers. And click the other videos like how do I leave freedom to learn more. Click get more views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click get more CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel and click Get More Music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show, also on Freedom.